Hi Cardinals, how are you today? I miss seeing you and I hope you've had a good weekend. We're here and we have a little book that we're gonna start with called Swimming. You may know this book, it's a good one. It's by Leo Leone. He drew the pictures, so he's the illustrator and he wrote the words, he's the author. It's called Swimmy. There he is. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Do you see Swimmy? One day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. He was full of wonderful creatures and he swam from marvel to marvel. Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. There's little Swimmy. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then Hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie here, said Swimmy. We must think of something. He had an idea. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. When they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. There's swimming, the eye of the fish. And so they swam in the cool morning water and the midday sun ch and chased the big fish away. The end. Did you like that story? I liked it too. I liked it when Swimmy 
was the eye of the big fish. He had an idea and he shared his idea with his friends. I have some sea creature facts I wanna share with you. Do you remember the tuna fish? Right at the beginning? That was the big tuna that ate all the red fish. Tuna fish are one of the fastest swimmers in the ocean. They can swim at almost 50 miles an hour. That's like a car on a highway. They eat small fish called krill. And tuna is eaten all over the world. Do you like tuna fish? Maybe a tuna fish sandwich or salad or even sushi. I like a tuna roll myself. A jellyfish. Mmm, that jellyfish is really beautiful. Jellyfish live in all the oceans in the world. They look like umbrellas. Do you think that looks like an umbrella? I think so too. Jellyfish move in large groups called blooms. Some blooms can have 100,000 jellyfish in them. Let's see who is next. That's right, lobster. Lobsters also live in all of the oceans, but they don't, they don't travel in blooms or big groups. They live alone and travel alone. Lobsters are nocturnal. I didn't know that they travel at night. That's when they're awake, they are nocturnal. They eat plants and animals. If a lobster loses a claw, it can grow another one back in its place. Do you like to eat lobster? Some people do. Um, oh, let's find the eel. There's the eel. Yikes. Eels look like snakes, but they're fish. And they are bottom feeders. You see how it's at the bottom of the ocean? That's where they like to live. And they live in the bottoms of ponds and lakes and rivers. They have very sharp teeth. They are predators. They like to eat worms and shrimp and fish. There is Swimmy. Some of the artwork in this book is very interesting. I like this page myself. Remember the sugar candy rocks? Leo Leone did some of his artwork and you can see with the little fish, here even on the back, he used his artwork, he did some stamping. I have a little stamping thing for us to do too. Are you ready? I have a paper towel roll. You can have a paper towel roll or maybe you have um, a toilet roll holder or even, I don't know, maybe you wrapped some, maybe you wrapped some paper, um, you have some wrapping paper and you have the roll from the inside. I'm going to take it, I just made it a little smaller so I could hold it onto it. And I am going to cut it right down the middle. There we go, just one straight line. Now I'm going to match this up. Trying to match up, I kind of cut a little off kilter here. Let me see if I can fix that. make it a little easier on myself. Okay, once you have it, you're gonna match up the edges like that. And then you're gonna take your stapler and you're just gonna give it um, just a few staples. Not all the way down. Here, I'll try and see where I can get it so you can see it right there. So I'm gonna give it one, two, I'll give it three staples. Now it kind of looks like that. So I am going to take my edges and flatten them out. Now I have a little fishy stamp. There you have it. And I am going to make a fish. 
So our fish starts right at the top here and we're gonna do a big curve. Then I'm gonna go back and do another big curve the opposite way, big curve. Now I'm gonna draw a straight line down. That's the tail. And I'm gonna draw a little fish here. I'm gonna make swimmy, he's the eye. So a little curve, another little curve, and then a straight line. Let's see if you can see that a little better. And I'll give him a little eye and color him in. There's my swimmy. Now, we have to make the red fish. So I have some a plate here with some red paint. Just any red paint. I'm gonna pour a little on that. Now I'm gonna use my stamper. I'm gonna get it. There I put the, stamp, the paint at the end and I'm gonna stamp just like fishes in the book. Go on the tail. Each fish had to stay swim in its own its own space, remember? And that was a good idea from our friend Swimmy. all those little red fish to make the body. That's it. Now I have my fishy. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to cut it out and add it to my underwater world. This is what I've started. Our challenge this week is for you to also make an underwater world. You can use whatever you want. You might make it out of blocks, you might use a crayon or a marker. My world, I painted this back blue. I cut out some seaweed, like those candy rocks. I have a starfish and I put a little mermaid. She was swimming around. I'm going to add my swimmy. When it dries, I'm gonna cut it out and add it to my underwater world. I'll keep working on it and I hope you do too. I have a little song I want to sing with you. Are you ready? Here we go. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The Sharks in the sea go snap, snap, snap all day long. The crabs in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The crabs in the sea go snap, snap, snap all day long. Wow, that was a fun song and I had a lot of fun with you today doing a little art and reading our book and learning about some of our fish, our fish friends. Maybe you can tell me some facts that you find out about some fish when we see each other. See you soon.